Welcome to our lecture online. So here we have an example where we're going to determine if two of the events are mutually exclusive or not mutually exclusive. Remember, when we say they're mutually exclusive, that means one event cannot happen at the same time as another event can happen. And so therefore we have the definition of three events. We have the sum of the two dies equal nine is event A. The sum of the two dies equals six is event B. And the two dies have the same number is event C. So one, what we need to determine is if A and C, e, A and B are mutually exclusive, A and C are they mutually exclusive, B and C are they mutually exclusive. And again, if one can happen, then the other one cannot happen. So if B happens, then A cannot happen. If C happens, then A cannot happen. If C happens, then B cannot happen. That would be examples of where they would be mutually exclusive. So let's take a look. First of all, let's look at A and B. Event A says that the sum of the two dies is 9. Event B says that the sum of the two dies is equal to 6. There's no way that when you throw two dies, you can have a 9 and a 6 at the same time. So therefore, those two events are mutually exclusive. They cannot happen at the same time. So therefore, A and B are what we call mutually exclusive events. They cannot happen at the same time. All right, what about A and C? The sum of the two dies equals 9, and the two dies have the same number. Now, if two dies have the same number, you end up with an even number. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, and so forth. So there's no way they can throw two dies and have the same number on the two dies and have them add up to 9. That is not possible. They cannot happen at the same time. So therefore, A and C are also mutually exclusive. What about B and C? Well, event B is that the sum of the two dies is 6, and event C is that the two dies have the same number. 6 is an even number. That means it is possible. 3 plus 3, they're the same number, do add up to 6. So therefore, we can have event B and event C happen at the same time. So they're not mutually exclusive. So B and C fall into this category. So it's kind of counterintuitive. Not mutually exclusive means that they can happen at the same time. Mutually exclusive means they cannot happen at the same time. So here's a good example to try and get that straight. That is how it's done.